Hello everyone, today we will be talking about the neural regulation of respiration, right? So we have um, a medullary respiratory center and we have a pontine respiratory center for the regulation of respiration and both of these are located in the brainstem. The medullary respiratory center is obviously located in the medulla whereas the pontine respiratory center is located higher up in the pons right so um, and the medullary respiratory center is not an anatomical entity rather it is referring to several aggregations of neuronal cell bodies located in the medulla which have a part to play in the regulation of respiration same for the pons not a single entity rather several aggregations several clusters of neuronal cell bodies located in the medulla and the pons respectively right so um there is a basic rhythm of breathing that is alternating um, inspiration expiration right um, and this basic rhythm of spontaneous breathing of inspiration alternated with expiration is generated by something known as the pre potzinger complex and the pre potzinger complex is located in the medulla of the brainstem. This um, black triangular thing over here is the pre potzinger complex. Um, and generally for neural respiration, I consult Sherwood over Guyton because I feel that um, it's easy to understand and less wordy to the point, so to speak. Um, anyways, there, there is, um, there is um, a bit of it written on page 480. So, generation of the respiratory rhythm or the basic breathing rhythm, though it's better probably to use respiration, is done by the pre Botzinger complex right and uh, I'll basically label this and then I'll tell you how exactly uh, does it do this right so the spellings are a bit tricky the function is simple enough generation of the uh, basic respiratory rhythm pre Botzinger complex so basically in the pre botzinger complex we have a network of pacemaker cells that are capable of um, self uh, depolarization and generation of an action potential right and i'll basically um, read out the exact wording written in sherwood which is basically um, a network of neurons display pacemaker activity undergoing self-induced action potentials, right? And the rate at which the DRG inspiratory neurons rhythmically fire is driven by synaptic input from this complex, right? So this is the pre botzinger complex and this is the DRG, right? And something is mentioned in Guyton that is not written in Sherwood which is the concept of a ramp signal the pre botzinger complex is basically responsible for the generation of a ramp signal right which is basically something like this so what happens is that the, ra that the ramp signal is basically produced by the pre botzinger complex and it doesn't have a set magnitude rather 
its magnitude increases until it reaches a certain maximum value and then it stops altogether right and then we have no ramp signal at all and in this period of no ramp signal generally speaking um we have expiration right and then we have the then the ramp signal begins to build up again so this ramp signal is kind of um produced uh, generated by the pre potzinger complex and the ramp signal by the pre potzinger complex is influence the rate at which the inspiratory neurons in this um, drg fire so this brings that us to the next part of the medullary respiratory center this is the drg known as the dorsal respiratory group of neurons now the dorsal respiratory group of neurons basically mostly contains inspiratory neurons right which have synaptic connections with certain with the motor neurons in the spinal cord that innervate the inspiratory muscles and the prebotzinger complex has synaptic connection with the drg so the ram signal generated by the prebotzinger complexes pacemaker cells is transmitted synaptically to the inspiratory muscles in the drg which fire in response to this input and so the rate of their firing is dependent on the ramp signal which they receive from the prebotzinger complex right so this over here is responsible for the basic respiratory rhythm when there is ramp signal there is inspiration when there isn't ramp signal there is expiration the drg has the inspiratory muscles that have synaptic connections with alpha motor neurons in the spinal cord that innervate the inspiratory muscles only right so normally only the drg is stimulated by the prebotzinger complex in normal quiet breathing and only the inspiratory muscles which include the diaphragm and the external intercostals are stimulated during one ramp cycle and so they contract and we have inspiration takes place and when the ramp signal switches off the inspiratory muscles they relax they don't contract anymore and we have expiration of a passive nature right now we have connections between the drg and the vrg in more strenuous breathing in which active expiration is needed involvement of expiratory muscles meaning the inspiratory my apologies the internal intercostals and the um, and the abdominal muscles we have we are keeping involved by something that is known as the overdrive mechanism so the vrg is involved in more strenuous breathing by way of the overdrive mechanism the vrg has both inspiratory and expiratory muscles the vrg neurons are stimulated as part of overdrive mechanism when strenuous breathing is required and the expiratory neurons they activate alpha motor neurons innervating the expiratory muscles and also rev up the inspiratory signal that is the job of the inspiratory neurons in the vrg right now i am hoping the medullary center makes sense what about the pontine center right so the ramp signal is produced by the pre potzinger complex by way of uh, uh, pacemaker cells by way of a network of pacemaker cells that are capable of self induced action potential thus responsible for the production of a ramp signal and when the ramp signal is um happening there is inspiration when it is not happening there is expiration 
This ramp signal is synaptically transmitted to the DRG, which basically just has inspiratory neurons, which have synaptic connections with alpha motor neurons in the spinal cord, which innervate the inspiratory muscles. So when the DRG fire, these alpha motor neurons are stimulated, and so the inspiratory muscles contract. And these are only firing when the ramp signal is being transmitted to it. The VIG is normally inactive in normal quiet breathing. Part is activated when strenuous breathing is required by overdrive mechanism because there is synaptic connections over here has both inspiratory and expiratory muscles. Ex sorry, neurons, expiratory neurons. They basically activate alpha motor neurons in the spinal cord for the expiratory muscles and so they too contract while simultaneously the inspiratory signal is rubbed off by the inspiratory neurons which also have interconnections with the inspiratory muscles. Now these centers, these pontine centers, they're just responsible for the fine tuning of respiration, for the fine tuning of the RAM signal which kind of um, dictates the rate and the magnitude of ventilation, how long it's going to happen. So this over here is the pneumotaxic center and this is the apneustic center. The pneumotaxic center is anti-inspiratory uh, so it basically limits the ramp signal. The apneustic center is pro-inspiration so it kind of increases it but normally the pneumotaxic center is dominant over the apneustic. So generally speaking the ramp signal is uh, kind of limited. But in case the pneumotaxic center is damaged, for example, in some forms of brain damage, the breathing pattern that results is basically just inspiratory gasps alternated with short periods of expiration. That is because the pneumotaxic center is no longer inhibiting the apneustic center, which is pro-inspiratory. So I think I did cover most of the important stuff. Um, if I left out anything, please inform me.